Hello, you're looking at a 1985 Pace Arrow motorhome that is amazingly clean and nice. This was a trade on a new one. The mileage is low. It actually has a um, current uh, Pennsylvania inspection that was only done about 400 miles ago. So I can't imagine it would need much uh, for another Pennsylvania inspection. It's very clean. has all the manuals. Really an unbelievable motorhome. It really is. Let me show you this first. We have the drivers and passenger area. There is a pull-down bunk that sleeps one up top. Maybe some kids or something. Now on top of that, there is some wear. Now that's not mold. That's um, sticky off of the off of the um, ceiling covering. So um, you could tape over that. Oh, put it back up. That's the only thing I've noticed wrong. There's one little area here um, that has some wear on it right below the window. But it's rained a lot the last couple of days. It's dry in here. No odors or anything like that. And you really don't even notice these things. I believe this is a one owner. I will check that. Um, it runs great. It drove about 70 or 80 miles to get here on the highway. No problem. So really, it'll drive anywhere going back home. What it really needs is three new batteries. It will need three new RV batteries. What's the same as, uh, you know, boat batteries. You can get them at um, Walmart or whatever. Has a little shower tub, mainly a shower, vanity, lots of storage here. Actually, I didn't even see that. I guess that's a cover, cover for the windows, a vacuum for the uh, vacuum hose for the central vacuum system. Nice clean bed, clean roof all the way around, no signs of leaks. Very nice condition. Now, I'm not telling you it's gonna, not going to need some small cosmetics, uh, small fix here and there, but the major pieces of this motorhome are all there. And it is clean, and it is nice, and it's really cool. Let me come outside. Finally getting some warmer weather. It's got six good tires on them. They're not cracked up. The paint is not perfect on the outside, but it sure puts up a nice appearance. You can tell it was well taken care of by looking at it. It's all caulked in the top. And uh, you can see my shot of the roof. Awning looks good motor sounds good like anything else you have to learn about the particular motor home learn about the systems but um, you know, spend a day or two on this motor home and you'll really have a neat rider here has a trailer hitch on the back now the owner told me that the generator works but the battery is too dead. It turns over real slow. Wah, wah, wah. Because there's not enough battery power to start it. Has about 500 hours on the generator. Now, use what I said as a green, as uh, some information. I'm not guaranteeing this, the generator is going to start right up when you put a battery in it. But I really do think that the generator is in good shape it needs to be have a strong battery and a service and it should be ready to go I'm not guaranteeing that but looking at the motorhome and talking to the guy I really don't think that's a problem
uh, was totally winterized, still is winterized. Really cool looking motorhome. And for the price it's going to sell for, it'll be a great second home, park it somewhere, or a neat uh, driver to drive around. Now it has a a uh, it's probably showing some CO because I've had it running with the door open. I will close the door. So that works. Okay, so here we are. Turn off some lights here. And we can take it for a quick ride. It rides very nicely. Rides very nicely on the highway. Has no problem getting up to, to speed. It does have a three speed automatic. Look at the driver's seat and passenger seat. Very seldom do you see them this clean. Definitely a non-smoker. Um, no dogs. Now I can't go up the highway speed here. Let me first uh, move the windshield wipers. Okay. Like driving the spaceship, really. Plenty of pep, though. All the gauges are good. Brakes feel fine. What a nice motorhome. This is going to make a great motorhome for somebody. Shifts through the gears. Oh. It's located in Manchester, Pennsylvania, in a storage area that I have. When the buyer comes to pick it up, you'll get a temporary license tag, a um, bill of sale, and a clear title with no bad history. Please do not bid unless you're able to finish the transaction. You'll need $250 at the end of the auction, and the balance is due within seven days. Now, you don't have to pick it up for 30 days, or even longer than that, but the balance of payment is due within seven days after the auction. This is really a great motorhome, it really is. Fold down sofa, so you're going to sleep one or two there, one or two kids up top, two in the back, two more here. So, um, you know, seven or eight could sleep here. Lots of room though for what you're going to get here and clean as a pin. I come up to uh, Pennsylvania in this rural area uh, once a week to get trade-ins and, uh, and vehicles from this area. And if I can generalize, the people in this area are just rural, nice people. They don't run their vehicles hard. And um, 
they're in good shape and you can tell by looking at this one that it was well taken care of it's going to have its little quirks its little leaks that were sealed up things like that but overall if you're looking for this type of motorhome you'll be very happy with this one so buy this Pace Arrow if it's what you're looking for you'll like it and it'll be a great buy